Today is my first day back at work after taking the last two weeks off. Again, my calendar, I don't have any meetings today, which is great because I have hundreds of emails that I gotta go through. So that's gonna take me a while. So yeah, I'll probably do emails this morning and then probably set up a few meetings or just ping people to like get caught up on what I missed out on. And then once I have all of that information, I'm gonna be able to plan out the rest of my week and figure out what I need to prioritize and what I need to get done. Also very quickly, I'm using my Vistle's mechanical keyboard just because my split mechanical keyboard is up on the wall and it's only up there because I, while I was making my desk setup video, I misplaced the charging cable for it. And so battery is dead, but as soon as I find that cable, I'll be back to using it. Uh kind of dark. I've been really loving having this pegboard above my desk because I can quickly access things like this light and a bunch of other accessories that I may need throughout my day. So super handy. Okay, big news. I just received the best PR package from Insta360. I'm like so happy right now. I didn't think it was from Insta360. The box is kind of confusing. It has a label that has nothing to do with Insta360. So I just opened it. I saw a little peek of what's inside and I wish I got my initial reaction because just shocked at like how much stuff they sent me. If you've never heard of Insta360, they are a camera company and you've probably seen this camera in a few of my vlogs. It's the Insta360 GO 3. It has a flip up screen, really nice for vlogging, but it also comes out. You have like the camera and then you could kind of like see where it's pointing. This camera is really useful at getting very unique shots. And because it's very tiny, not a lot of people will notice it. So I feel a lot better about like recording in public. But I use this camera all the time. So if you watch my vlogs, you've probably seen some footage from it. So it's, it's really handy. Andy. There's a ton of really cool accessories too. Like this one is a sticky mount, so you can like stick it on any surface. There's also like a necklace where it's like magnetic, so you can have a first person point of view kind of thing. But yeah, I really love using this camera and that's why I'm so excited to be working with Insta360. So I know they're sending me two items, but when I looked in the box, there's like a bunch of things in there that I don't even know about. So I figured let's unbox it together and see what they sent. Just for reference, this is what the box looks like. It's huge. Ooh, it's also very dusty. So the first thing is something that I knew they were gonna send and it's the Insta360 Ace Pro. It's their action camera that also has a flip out screen very similar to this one, but this one chooses an 8K footage and it has a ton of great features. They partnered with Leica, so really high quality camera and I'm actually like so excited to try this. All right, you can see it says Insta360 Think Bold. This is the second thing that I knew that they were gonna send. I'm pretty sure it's this. Um, let me open it up. Whoa. Okay, wow, there's a few things in here. This is the Insta360 X3. This is their 360 action camera. So basically this camera, it shoots 360 degree field of view. I've been watching a ton of YouTube videos on how to use both of these cameras and I have like a whole playlist of different tutorials to try out. So I'm really excited to get my hands on these two cameras. I'm so inspired to create more content and to be more creative with the shots that I make. Also in this box came a few things. One is the invisible selfie stick. So the idea with the invisible selfie stick is that it's, you know, invisible. So if you've ever seen like people take photos or videos and they have a selfie stick in the frame. It looks kind of weird, right? So Insta360 figured out a way to make it visible, which is really cool. Can't wait to test that out. Also comes with a 64 gigabyte memory card and a lens cap. All right, so that's this box and there's still a ton of stuff in this box. So let's see, choose the biggest one. This is the extended edition selfie stick. So this one goes up to three meters or 9.8 feet for all of us Americans. This is a magnetic selfie stick holster. So it's for your backpack and it's a way for you to quickly take your camera on and off your backpack. This is a 120 28 gigabyte memory card. I just realized that a lot of these shots are out of focus, so I'm gonna have to redo all of this. But still got a few more things. This is a suction cup. You can put it on the car. Really cool. I keep saying really cool, so sorry if this is repetitive. I'm just like so hyped right now, and I really do think all of this stuff is so cool. I really can't wait to use it. This is the multi mount. They made it in collaboration with PGY Tech. They make the Mantis pods, which is really cool. I have some ND filters for the Ace Pro. This is a lens protector for the X3. Here is a battery and an extra battery for the X3. And last but not least is the dive case. This is for the X3. It's gonna come in really handy for my trip to Hawaii later this year. It's gonna be my first time in Maui, so super excited to use this. So thank you to Insta360 for sending these out. I'm like, I don't even know what to say. I'm beyond happy, so cool. Good morning, welcome to the vlog. It's Tuesday, it's super rainy, so I decided to take a car today. Not just because it's raining, but because I have a package I wanted to bring to the office. And you know what? I actually forgot the package at home. So now I'm just enjoying this car ride. I'm not one of those people that vlogs in Lyfts and Ubers. I'm not at that level yet. There is no driver today. I brought my Insta360 cameras today. Now I'm testing the Ace Pro. This is no mic attachments. I have the AC going on. Kind of hear some cars outside. So I wonder if it'll show up in camera. I'm on the setting that's supposed to be really good in low light, which is good because it's kind of dark here in this car. So excited to see how this footage turns out. I have my 360 camera on the extended selfie stick. Figured I would test it out in the car, see what it can capture. Basically this long stick and it'll capture 360 camera from wherever it is. Right now I just have the camera in the driver's 
seat and my genuinely my first time using the camera today so if it doesn't turn out well that's okay at least i'm giving it a try right so i made it to the office i don't know if you can tell this right here is my old desk and now i'm sitting at my new desk and the reason why i wanted to switch was because of the view now i'm able to look at the bridge while i work so really excited about that now all i gotta do is wipe down this desk and move all my stuff <laughs> tell you that I love you 100 times a day You'll get tired of my voice That's how much I'm gonna tell you that I miss you I'll miss you if you go Yes, I'm gonna let you know Just how much I tell you I just got back from spending my morning at YouTube and the only reason I was there was because that's where my doctor is. It's kind of an interesting setup because I go to One Medical and a lot of Google offices have a One Medical Wellness Center within the building. And I chose to have my primary doctor in the San Bruno office just because it's really easy to find parking over there. The reason why I came home is because my laptop no longer turns on. It like gets stuck at the Apple screen. This computer is really old. It's like 2019 MacBook Pro and I've been wanting to upgrade for the longest time but the only newer computers that we have are also still kind of old. But a few weeks ago, they finally put the M3 MacBooks out. So I have one here. I just realized I closed the lid, but yeah, you can still see it's on the Apple logo. I've had this computer for a little bit over a week, but the reason why I never set it up is because I still have one project left on this computer and it would have been nice just being able to finish it because I know everything is set up correctly. And my entire coding setup is how I like it. But yeah, now I gotta upgrade, or now I get to upgrade actually. And now I get to say that I fully used this thing before it died. I have a bunch of moth accessories on here. This is a laptop stand. This is like the phone holder. So you can have your phone like floating. They claim that the adhesive on these things is reusable. So get to test that out. Probably not today though, because I know it takes a long time to set up a new computer and just don't got the time. Okay, almost 5.30 and I'm still not done setting up my machine. I think I'm about 80% of the way there, but I thought I'd give you my first impressions. Long story short, I like it a lot. It's really bright. I actually really like the black color, kinda. I didn't get a choice on what color I could get, but I was hoping to get the black one because I wanna buy a M3 MacBook for my personal use. And I thought this would be a really good way to like test out if I actually like the color. My main concern is that I have pretty sweaty hands. So like, you can see, actually, it's not that bad on the top, but like on the palm area, you can definitely see some marks. It's not the end of the world, but as a content creator, I think it would be annoying having to wipe them down every time I want to film something. So I think for my personal laptop, I wouldn't get this color. 
but I still think it's a nice color. In comparison to the 2019 MacBook, it's a lot faster. Obviously, this is four, almost five years old, and technology has definitely advanced within that time frame. Things just feel a lot snappier, and I think this one has twice the amount of memory as this machine, but I'll have to double check that. And because I'm still setting it up, I haven't really gotten a sense of the build and compile time, so that's still TBD. I will say that I do miss the touch bar on here just because I had a shortcut to quickly lock the screen and that was really useful to have. And first impressions of the notch is that it's really big. I'm sure I won't really care about it in the long run, but like when I look at the menu bars on apps, they just seem like really big and takes up a lot of space. So I don't know, just finding things to nitpick, but overall I really like it and I'm excited to use it for coding. I think I'm gonna finish setting it up and then I'm gonna start making dinner. Thursday I went into the office and I remembered to bring my package this time. I also confirmed that the moth products are reusable. It was a little bit hard to get off but it reapplied really easily and it didn't leave any residue on the first MacBook so I'm really happy about that. I also decided to add a privacy screen because I saw a lot of people in the London office with it. Friday was just as busy. Work wise I ended up having to do a bunch of admin stuff so I had no time to vlog but after work my girlfriend and I went out for a date night. We did a pottery class and it was so much fun. It was a lot harder than I thought it would be and also way messier than I expected but we both had a great time. After that we ended the work week with drinks and dinner at a Spanish restaurant restaurant down the street called Picaro. Super good. Highly recommend it. Sorry this last bit was rushed, but thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next one.